Over the past few years, the concerted effort to hire military vets is starting to pay off. Walmart says since it started its Welcome Home initiative three years ago, it's hired more than 130,000 U.S. veterans. But Walmart is not alone. In fact, the unemployment rate for post-9-11 veterans has hit nearly an eight-year low and did so last month. But as Dina Gosofsky tells us, while progress has been made, more can be done. Medal of Honor recipient and retired Army Captain Florent Groberg knows a thing or two about hard work and sacrifice. That's an American we can all be grateful for. But all of that experience didn't prepare him for the working world. I did not know how to effectively network, how to reach out to individuals who were in my field and who trans transitioned over to corporate America. Now Groberg is partnering with LinkedIn to teach vets about the importance of networking. He's also working to try to get more hiring managers to pay attention to the job skills veterans have to offer. So far, he's met with companies like IBM, HP, Google, and J.P. Morgan Chase. We are adaptable. We are flexible. We're mission-centric. We're dedicated. We're loyal. We're sponges as well. We learn quick. We're going to make our mistakes. That's a fact. But we're not going to make that same mistake twice. A recent hearing on Capitol Hill focused on hiring veterans specifically in the technology sector. We're highlighting the tech industry today. Representatives from Microsoft, Uber, and Amazon were among the folks testifying. Our commitment to the military does not end once candidates are hired. Once employed at Amazon, we connect them with our internal employee network of veterans that we call the Amazon Warriors. Amazon pledged to hire 25,000 veterans in the next five years, and Uber said the company had already fulfilled its goal of employing 50,000 veterans. There's also a need for veteran candidates in the health care sector. Ascension, the largest nonprofit health care system in the United States, recently partnered with the Department of Veterans Affairs to provide medical services to veterans who may not have access to a VA facility or who have to wait a long time for an appointment. We currently have 2,000 of our employees who are veterans. We want to make sure we understand the true veteran experience. We understand that uh, veterans have different needs than some of our other patients. And right now, uh, in many parts of the country, the veterans are most vulnerable. The unemployment rate for veterans who served on active duty since September 2001 hovers at around 5.8 percent. That's higher than the national average. And according to experts, about half of veterans leave their first jobs after the military within one year of transitioning home. Statistics that advocates and veterans themselves are trying to change. I think we can be successful in any sector if given the right opportunity. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Dina Gosofsky.